Tonight, two family-owned South Suburban restaurants are trying to recover after they were burglarized. The thieves so bold they used bricks to break in. Both businesses were hit within an hour. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live in Blue Island with a story you will only see on two. Eric. Jim, by 3 a.m. Wednesday morning, two thieves broke through the glass door here at Taqueria Durango. By 4 a.m., just an hour later, those same burglars hit another Mexican restaurant in Alsip, just four miles away. Two bricks, two break-ins. A pair of thieves target two South Suburban Mexican restaurants, hitting both businesses in only an hour's time. Went in, went out. They literally took uh, only a few seconds. Outside surveillance shows the burglars breaking the window, glass shattering all over the floor as the thieves rush inside Wednesday morning around 4. Another camera recording as the criminals try grabbing the register, later leaving with a toolbox carrying $150 in cash. This was a female, it looked like. El Gallo Tapatio General Manager Maria Ramos tells CBS2 the restaurant's been a part of the Alsip community for 25 years. She says this family-owned eatery can't afford losses like this. Every little thing that they take, it hurts you because it, you've worked hard for it. And they just want to go the easy way. An hour before the burglary in Alsip, these same thieves ran inside another restaurant just a few miles away in Blue Island. Cameras capturing one of the criminals ripping the register off the counter, smashing it against the ground to get it open. The other thief finding the key to the second cash drawer. My dad was the one that was really upset. He's, he's been working really hard to keep this place running. Alejandra Moraz's father opened Taqueria Durango when she was just one years old. Over 20 years later, they've grown considerably, but this burglary is still a big setback. The thieves not only stealing cash and breaking glass, but also ruining the restaurant's point of sale system thanks to this move. And we also had to close for the whole day, so we lost out on a lot. Moraz estimates they are out close to $3,000 when they total up the stolen cash, the, account, the cost of repairs, as well as the uh, lost business from the day that they were actually shut down. All as detectives in both Alsip and Blue Island continue searching for those suspects. Taqueria Durango considering whether or not they should install steel curtains to keep criminals out in the future. We're live in Blue Island this evening, Eric Cox, CBS2 News.